Okay, let's look at the coordination number for FCC. So the coordination number is the number of atoms touching any, uh, any given atom. Okay, so you get one atom, how many atoms are actually touching that atom? <clears throat> so the way I usually like to do this is I go um, and take a look at, I, I usually like to look at this um, right side atom here. Okay, and then what I do is I say, well, I know that atom is touching this corner and touching this corner. They touch across the face diagonals, as you know, for FCC. So that means it would be touching those. The other thing we know, though, is that this direction across the, uh, across, say, this bottom face is actually the same direction as this direction here going from the front face here to that right side. So you just shift it up. So it's the same, that's the same direction. So in fact, <clears throat> we know if the atoms are touching across this base, bottom face diagonal, well, they must also be touching this way. And similarly, we could say, well, if they're touching you know, across this face diagonal, that way from here to here is the same distance as from this atom to this one in the back face. And similarly, we could do that for, you know, say, the, the front faces. Well, if they're touching this way across the front, okay, then they must be touching from this right side atom to the top um, side atom. And that is the case. So we go like this. And it quickly um, starts to look a little bit messy. You see, I've drawn eight lines there so far, okay? And um, oops. if I, you know, one, two, three, four on that right side face, five, six, seven, and eight, so touching these left face centered atoms. Well, the thing that we're not seeing here yet is that there's, in fact, also another unit cell um, with atoms the same distance as these right side um, four atoms, with these face centered atoms here, top, front, back and bottom, and so that right side atom also touches those ones just the same way as it does. So it's going to touch this front one, it's going to touch this top one, it's going to touch that back one, and it's going to touch that bottom one, okay? And so that makes for, I uh, hit six, seven, um, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Now you look at that and that looks like a mess. There's lines going everywhere. If you followed along as I, as I did this in the video, ho I, I do hope that it makes some sense, but it's a messy picture to look at. Now, uh, a student actually came to my office hours um, just, uh, just the other day and showed me a really neat way to depict this. And so I'd like to actually show you that. So I wanna back up here and show you another way of looking at this. Um, <clears throat> and that would be if I say drew, drew in for you, um, a little square here, a plane, if you will, okay, <clears throat> and that's um, parallel to the surface of the screen that you're looking at. And then I could identify, say, another another plane here, going front to back. Okay, this plane here. You know, perhaps I should make that a little bit larger so it's more obvious. Okay, so this one here, front to back, you see that, the blue blue plane. Um, and then finally, if I chose uh, another color, say uh, I use this orange color, <clears throat> I could identify a final plane um, that proceeds in this horizontal plane, if you will. Okay. And on each of those planes, the atom touches four nearest neighbor atoms. So I actually really like this. I think it's a neat and, and clear way of depicting the coordination number for, um, for FCC. I like that. Anyway, there we go. So there's another way of showing those same 12 nearest neighbor atoms, but uh, thought of just by slicing you know, in, in the XY plane, um, in the ZY plane, and the XZ plane. Okay, so the color coding actually was green here for ZY. Um, <clears throat> blue was ZX. Okay, 
and then the horizontal one I did in the orange color. Okay. So anyway, that's another way of looking at it, but I, I do hope that that uh, makes it clear, the coordination number for FCC. Now, you could have done that for any other atom, but I find that right side one is just the, the easiest one to do because eight of the atoms are already in the unit cell that you're originally looking at. But you could, if as a challenge, you could look at any other um, atom in the FCC unit cell and convince yourself that, in fact, it has a coordination number of 12. Okay, thanks a lot.